no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment no of clarity from LeeCamp.net Fuck! There. I said it. I said a curse word. I hope you got through it okay. If you're listening to the censored version of this, then you just had to sit through a long, piercing bleep. It was probably far more fucking annoying and offensive than the simple word of fuck. I bring up this topic because every once in a while I get complaints from people who say, Lee, I love what you do, but I can't stand the bad language. Or Lee, I'd like to share your points with my friends and enemies, but I can't because of the curse words. Or Lee, you molest my brain in all the right places, but I just wish you didn't curse like a sailor who's stubbed his toe on a rusty hammerhead shark. And I can't believe in today's day and age anyone can find a word like shit uglier and harder to hear than the number of civilians dead from drone attacks. Or the word twat harder to listen to than report on the, 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 the harm fracking is causing to the environment and the people. Or the eloquent phrase, ass fucking bimbo muncher harder to take than a breaking news story that people are rioting at walmart's on the day after thanksgiving that should be repulsive that should make you regurgitate your meal that should be bleeped out so that children aren't exposed to it and some people do say it's for the children i don't want my kids to hear those words well first of all Kids are raised on South Park and Jersey Shore nowadays, the latter of which creates a hero worship of a type of idiot who thinks a rape whistle is a form of greeting because of the amount he hears it. After watching these shows and movies, children know what a golden shower is before they know what a meteor shower is. Secondly, if you really want to protect your kids, you should demand that idiocy and manipulation be bleeped out of our airwaves. Doing that would actually help create better human beings. Here's what a news broadcast would sound like if we actually did that. Also today, Grover Norquist put out a new book entitled <laughs> Critics are saying it's a really good read if you like <laughs> But he'll have to compete with the new iPhone, which Apple says can <laughs> and can finally <laughs> And in our fun segment today, we have this YouTube clip. I'd like you to watch it now. It's a Trampoline in <laughs> I can watch that a hundred times. Right, Jim? You can watch you can watch it a hundred times. Furthermore, I try to use all the words at my disposal, and in my opinion, a word is only offensive if you feel the whole statement is offensive. Sometimes I feel I've neglected the word jizz recently, and sometimes I like using an innocent word like waffle. Here's an example. You might have heard that Jamie Dimon, CEO of J.P. Morgan Chase, recently lost $9 billion due to risky bets, and yet he still sits on the board of the New York Fed. This fucking jizz waffle is literally in charge of regulating himself. His shame is harder to find than the Higgs boson particle. So which part of the last paragraph was the offensive part? The word jizz? The word waffle? Or how about the fact that four years after the biggest collapse since 1929, one of the most powerful psychopaths you could ever find is in charge of regulating himself? If you want to keep your kids innocent, bleep that part out and stop whining to me about the word fuck. Seriously, if you look at this world, you look around at what's going down at the hands of the monstrously wealthy and you don't let out a death rattling fuck that scares the dog, then you aren't paying attention. We don't have time for games. We don't have time to put lipstick on a pig and mustaches on a turd. I, I might have made, made up that second expression. All I'm saying is stop getting distracted by nonsense like naughty words and instead focus your anger on the fucking shit starved ass flaps, the flaccid penis ramming fanny faced nut buckets and the slut brained anus tickling vaginal fungus captains who are swallowing your future. That was your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. If you want to help Moment of Clarity continue, but you don't have five bucks to donate, then simply share it with friends, leave a comment, email it around. All that really makes a difference. Oh, and subscribe by clicking on my crooked nose right now. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.